Welcome to another Down the Rabbit Hole video. We're going to be unboxing a chainmail shirt here. Now you're probably wondering, hey, wait a minute, you're wearing a chainmail shirt. Yes, yes I am. This is real chainmail. I've done a video about this already. This is something I bought way back in the day. It is real. Actual chainmail was down pretty far. It's really heavy. And that's fine. That's what you want in a suit of armor. But I've got some ideas for a trip maybe in the future, which is kind of Dungeons and Dragons related, and it would make sense for me to wear a chainmail shirt on this trip. And that's not really going to be very feasible with this thing. And a buddy of mine actually sent me a link on Amazon for a hoodie that looks like plate mail, and I just thought, mm, that's, yeah, okay. But I already have a hoodie. I like my Assassin's Creed hoodie. I'm good for hoodies. But then I noticed there's, like, if people who bought this were also interested in this, a chainmail shirt. Now, in the Amazon ad, it says it's sort of a costume shirt, uh, and it says, I think, ages 10 and up. And I thought, oh, so it's for children, and it's not very much money, so it's probably a piece of junk. It might very well be. But uh, the other reviews were from people who do cosplay. In fact, I even saw a guy as the, the Black Knight from Monty Python and the Holy Grail wearing this shirt. And I thought, well, it's, I mean, for the price tag, it can't be very good. But you know what? It's something I could easily pack in a suitcase. I think it would be a lot easier to use than this thing for my trip might even just wear it anytime I'm talking D&D, because this thing is wonderful as it is. What was that? Oh, we'll find out. Um, this chainmail shirt is wonderful as it is. It's not something I throw on regularly because it's heavy and it's cold today, so this thing is like wearing, you know, a refrigerator all over you. Um, so a, a cloth shirt, a costume shirt, that is actually going to be good enough looking, I figure, you know what? Yeah, I'll drop, I think this was 20 bucks, maybe 25 I'll put a link down below to this particular shirt that I bought. Let's unbox it and try it on. Okay, so let's open this thing up. I was going to rip it and then I noticed it's got a little tab thing here, so let's see if that peels off. Yeah, kind of worked. And let me in. Yes, it is. All right. So, what do we got? Come on. Okay, there's the shirt. Yeah, okay. Hmm. I'll box that away. And all the bits. There we go. Um, what does it say? Oh, here we go. Chainmail tunic and cowl, by the way. It's got a cowl as well. Gods and goddesses. Adult size. One size fits most. Accessories sold separately. So obviously, it doesn't come with a sword or gloves or anything. But there it is. And you know what? That does look semi-metallic kind of might do the trick let's open it up here in fact i think i'll probably keep that uh, bag for it Ooh, it feels weird it feels weird okay so this is the cowl so that's not bad you know nothing else it's like a executioner's mask or something this stuff feels weird it's like um god can you make that out it's it's actually okay so there's a black material underneath but i almost feel like my fingers would go through the bits of thread so it's actually yeah it's it's stitched it's just crossing stitches over and over with a metallic sheen but you know what that doesn't look too bad now that i think about it that might actually work and then there's the shirt um, I think that will, sorry, you can't see it. I think that will actually fit me, which I'm going to try it on in a second. Um, and there's the end of the sleeve. Ah, black material on the inside. It's a decent quality, you know, like it's not, uh, I don't think this thing is going to be great for, well, I might wear it publicly. I was like, you know, I might wear it for non-D&D, &D, like just hanging out at a party. Who knows? I think this looks pretty decent. Well, okay, it's nothing but a, a crazy checkered looking uh, rag for you, so let me try it on. There you go, there's the full shirt, front and back. Um, I think, yeah, this is probably going to fit me. Actually, this is definitely going to fit me. 
I mean, long enough. So, uh, that, you know, I will now try it. Okay, this is me. Just thought I'd leave my t-shirt on underneath, just in case. I did read some reviews saying it could be a little longer, but you know, actually, that's not bad. Um, yeah, I could probably not be wearing the t-shirt on underneath, to be honest. But, um, there we go. Does it look chainmail-ish? It's very light. You know, actually, it's kind of nice. I think I might actually wear this, like, at a barbecue or something. Here's the back. I guess, uh, is the tag out? No. Okay. So, yeah, I would I would probably not wear a shirt underneath. There we go. I don't know. Can you make out? It's, uh, it's reaching my arms just fine. In fact, this, this does fit. Considering I'm over six feet tall, a lot of stuff doesn't fit me. This is actually doing very good, very well. Um, nice and baggy, like you would kind of expect chainmail to look. Yeah, now, gotta put on the coif. This will complete the outfit. But I have one more thing I want to try on with all of this, because it's also part of the trip. However, to complete my ensemble, does this fit? No. Hmm. Uh, uh. Oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. There I am with my coif. I don't really own a coif, so this is kind of neat. What do you think? Do I look medieval? Am I ready to charge into the battle of Hastings or whatever? Yeah, 1066. Yeah. What do you think? Does that look okay? Have I, uh, have I got that? You know what? I actually, I feel like, uh, maybe I do or don't look... Anybody who's played the Thief games back on the PC, back in the 90s, the guards that you would always knock out and stuff like that, they had, I guess because it's low polygons and stuff like that, the guards tended to be like very, this sort of look, like with a tunic and one of those little bowl hat things, because it's like, okay, we, we only have 100 polygons to render these guys in. So very rudimentary looking. I feel like one of those guards in this. This is sort of that look. I just need the tunic and a, a, a sword and I'm, I'm good. But anyway, yeah, this is the chainmail shirt. I'm pretty pleased. You know, I think it's, again, black material on the inside. So you're not getting, it does feel honeycomb chainmail-ish. I wouldn't want to spill anything on it. I don't, I'll have to look up what the uh, cleaning uh, sort of maintenance for it is. Can you throw it in the washing machine? I don't know. But I do feel <laughs> very medieval with this on. I like it. This is cool. Now, as I said, there's one other part of the whole outfit that I want. I don't know that this is going to match. I will have to let you be the guide because until I look at the footage afterward, I'm not going to know if this looks good or not. But this, this trip that I'm planning in a kind of a D, D sense i thought okay gonna have the armor of course um and there's one other part of my kind of bunch of stuff that i own that would go well but i don't know it's also sort of stitched together i don't know that the way it looks all stitched together and the way this looks all stitched together works tell me what you think forsooth sorry forsooth yeah, this is a um, woolen cap that I wear sometimes because of the winter time and it, when it's really cold. This thing is awesome. The fact that it warms my face, can you hear me? That it warms my face is um, handy. And I've had quite a few people say, hey man, sweet hat. So uh, my plan is, does this work? Does this look like all part? I know it, it's trying all to look like chainmail. This should be chainmail. This should not. This should be more plate, but for something I can toss into a suitcase and not get security people going, what the heck is that? Um, I think I'm going to have to make this be part of the ensemble. Does it work with this outfit? I don't think it does, but you tell me and I will look at the footage afterward. But yeah, that is my other chainmail shirt. I think you're probably going to see this in upcoming D&D related videos because this is just super comfortable. It's nice. 
for the price tag and it fits a six foot two person yes you can wear these things so um i'm very happy with the price tag with the end result i'm gonna get medieval on your butt anyway until next time we'll see you down the rabbit hole